Okay, um, so you can mix and match as well, of course. Um, let, let's take um, an audio instrument track. We've loaded up the by you know by having this upper sort of master container slot highlighted, the channel strip setting slot. We've loaded in the entire channel strip called Classic Acid Bass, which has loaded up this EQ curve with the ch on the channel EQ. These insert um, effects and processes plugins and also the ESM synth as well all making up classic acid bass as a channel strip but you can mix and match so for example this is what it sounds like okay so as well as highlighting the input plugin slot on that channel strip and then changing a different so I'm listening to a different ESM patch So mix and match. Um, with this channel strip loaded, I can left click on the input slot and change the actual instrument plugin. Okay. So I'll go down and I'll choose the ES1 synthesizer. Okay, so what I've done now is I've still got I've still got the classic acid base channel strip loaded. In other words, this EQ curve and these different plugin effects or processors with their particular settings all going to make up that channel strip sound. But now I've changed the actual instrument. Okay. Okay, so now if I highlight the S1 that's now been inserted into this channel strip, I can now go through its library and we're now listening to the sound of the ES1 and as we change the different ES1 patches we're listening to each patch being played through the channel strip for classic acid bass with its combination of EQ and effects okay so now I hit play and with the ES1 input slot highlighted I can So, um, for example, if I highlight uh, this instrument track and then highlight the uh, channel strip setting slot, the you know what I call the outer container slot at the top, I'm then looking at entire channel strip presets for instruments, uh, for instrument tracks. Okay, so I'm now going to go to uh, synthesizers, synth leads, and I'm going to choose classic trance. Now we've heard that already. It sounds like this. Quite a big sort of um, quite a big sound. It's got that very hard sort of reverb on it, um, as well as some modulation and what have you. And it gives that kind of sort of roomy sound, you know, like it's in some sort of concrete room or something, you know. Quite ambient, okay. But in the process of loading that channel strip, we've loaded up the EXS sampler with the trancey hook sample set. So what I can do is I'll just change the instrument. Highlight on the input slot and I'll choose the ESM synth, which is a more simple synth, right? Okay, and now I'm listening to the ESM synth through the classic trance channel strip with all those effects and in other words giving it that sort of large amb that largish ambient room sound as well as that modulation and that bit of delay. And then with the ESM input slot highlighted I can listen to the ESM presets being passed through that combination of effects that originally is for classic trance. Okay, so here we go. Highlight the plug-in slot. Etc. Do you see, so you see what's happening? It's just mixing and matching. It's fantastic. So you can load up a particular channel strip preset for a, um, an instrument and sort of go, "Wow, oh, I kind of like the whole space that that synth is sitting in." 
the combination of the compression and the effects and the any reverb or whatever to get I love that kind of ambient space that that sound is sitting in but I want a different sound it doesn't mean that you're only limited to changing the sound patch or sample set of the instrument that originally got loaded with that um, channel strip preset but you can actually change the instrument itself and then audition completely different instruments uh, patches through that sounding channel strip yeah so you can mix and match and when you found combinations that you like you can then save those as completely new channel strips so for example I've taken the classic trance channel strip which originally had the EXS sampler with the trancey hook I believe it was um, sample set I've now put a different plug-in instrument on it by choosing the ESM synth from by highlighting the plug-in slot, the input slot of the channel strip, right? And I then listen to it. I choose that particular preset for the ESM. I think, well, I like that combination of that ESM patch and the channel strip for classic trance. So now I'm going to save the whole lot as a new channel strip preset that I can load any time. So with the new added instrument put here and its preset selected and tweaked if you want, because I could always open that synth and tweak the cutoff or anything else so it's a bit harsher, say. OK, and I can then save that entire combination of the effects and everything else that was the original classic trance channel strip but with the ESM with the classic acid bass preset loaded and then tweaked and all I have to do is highlight the upper outer container slot which then takes me into the library for entire channel strips for instrument tracks and then do save channel strip setting as yeah go to the Macintosh hard drive, remember because we're going to put it into the logic library not the user library so Macintosh hard drive, library, application support logic, channel strip settings, it's an instrument channel strip so I'll go to instrument and I can now say to myself well I can either save that in synthesizers leads or bass it's up to me depending on what pitch I've got that instrument playing at right so I'll save it in synth leads and I'm going to call it not classic trance but classic trance horn because it sounds like a horn to me kind of thing okay so I save that bada bing and now this new preset classic trance horn is inside my library next to the original classic trance and now I can jump between the two yeah simple as that okay so that's how you can mix and match with instrument channel strips and, and let's look now at how one um, saves and modifies presets for actual individual plugins on these insert slots because we've shown that acts, you know, highlighting the plugin slot, the insert slot on the channel strip for either type of track um, accesses the library for that particular effect that's on that insert slot. So let's now look at how one saves uh, presets and works with the presets uh, beyond just selecting them, okay, and then look at some other things as well.